Like, um, well, first of all, Jabari Smith, NBA correspondent. Um, I feel like this league is, is a lot of expectation, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to shift it a little bit. Um, what would you say to somebody going to their third year who um, hasn't really lived up to the expectation that has been set on it? What would you say to somebody going to that? I would say that uh, somebody that, you know, has, has been through that, right? How old are you? 21. 21. I've been in that situation. Everybody else in the world that's your age that's 21 is still probably in school trying to figure out what they want to do in life. Um, and we come into the league at such a young age and they want us to be um, perfect right away. And this is part of growing up. You're still growing up. I'm still growing up. Um, and it's a process, right? Nothing was, was accomplished overnight and I think um, you'll find a value in tough times, um, the ups and downs, uh, just what life brings you. Damn, I sound like a real old person. Right now. <laughs> uh, just in the sense of like your career, uh, I would just say, man, enjoy it, right? There's, there's gonna be some great times. There's gonna be some times that aren't so great. Uh, and that's, and it, it's okay to be upset, because uh, that means you care, right? You wanna be great. And people believe that you can. They just try to rush the process, um, and it takes however long it takes. But you know, as long as you work hard, and you believe, um, and you got the right support system. Obviously, you do down in Houston. I know all those guys, coaches, um, you know, and everything that take care of itself. How it's supposed to. For sure, appreciate you. Good luck to you too. Thank you. Last one in the back of the. Uh, I think I would say part of my motivation is. I just love the win um, and understanding the moment that I know how hard it is to get to the finals. Um, and, and, you know, you think that you're young and you've been once that you'll just continue to keep going. Um, and we realized that last year we kind of took for granted at certain moments and um, we didn't make it to the finals. And, and this year, uh, put things in perspective and I think you can see and our excitement Right, when we won the conference. Uh, obviously, that's not the end all, be all, but um, it, it really is tough to get to this moment. So, I think right now, just staying present in the moment. I'm not thinking about, you know, what it would mean for my legacy or anything like that. Uh, just excited to play some basketball after this long break uh, and, and go out there and, and try to get the job done. Uh, I think more so than me. Right, it's like my mom, my grandma, uh, my family and friends, you know, they're more bothered by it than me. And, you know, I understand, like, the deuce was to make it to the NBA and people were talking about him every single day. As a parent, uh, I wouldn't be able to separate the superstar from the child. Uh, so, you know, my mom was, took it a little tougher than, than maybe I did, uh, but for me, I don't, I don't take it personally, right? It's a long break about NBA basketball. So they had to overanalyze every little thing and have something to talk about. Um, did it get old? Yeah, but um, you know, it's the finals. Um, they wouldn't talk about me if I wasn't good. So, uh, you know, try to take some positives out of it. And, uh, Change the channel. Um, well, I think it was, uh, it was like 
Five questions. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was great. Uh, definitely learned a lot from Carter while he was here. Um, and it's been great to, to, to see his journey, um, to see where he's at, all the stuff that he's going through, um, and stuff like that to be where he's at. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's dope to see um, how to stop him. Um, that's a that's a great player over there. So it's gonna be a full team effort. Him and Luca, uh, making sure that we're alert, uh, making sure that we're back in transition, and, uh, and and do the best we can. It does affect you, you know, being embraced versus being scrutinized. And you know, one of my favorite quotes is like, um, "The child who isn't embraced." Um, by the village or something like that, you will, will what is it? Y'all know this quote, right? No? You will feel like the warmth, of, when the child doesn't feel the warmth of the village, will burn, will, will burn it, will burn it down, or something like that. Um, I'll look it up. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you know, um, but, you know, referencing that, it means like, you know, you get to a point where it's like, you know, you get scrutinized enough for uh, a large part of your career and just, it becomes normal. Um, and then you just, it just rolls off you. Um, for me, at least, I could say, I don't know if Jason feels the same way. It's kind of been that my whole career, um, in a sense, you know, just, just be booed when you were drafted to, saying you were overpaid and saying you overpaid again. Um, it's, been, it's been that the whole journey uh, for me. So, you know, it just, it just becomes another headline.